here at a different area of Lake Waco. It's a beautiful day. I mean, the water, as you can see, is just like glass. And we're out here letting Sarge here run around and be just a happy healer. Huh, buddy? So you like going on lake adventures. I do too, because it gets me out and about with nature. And uh, whatever he's looking at, I'm looking at, and vice versa. You know, it's just a good time. The water here is down really low. I bet when the water's up, we we'll probably get some good catfish out of here and some bass up and all that. Like I say, the water's really low. Hi, buddy. Somebody caught a carp. Been there for a while. And the deer, the deer tracks, it's just full of deer tracks. But just doing simple things like this with your healer or any dog, you know, it uh, it just gives them some freedom and, and it relaxes the mind and it gives them so much to smell and take in, you know, and you'll actually go home with a tired dog when you're doing this. Like I said, happy healer. <laughs> Feeling out coming through that mud. It's a good way to end the day. You know, talking about relaxing his mind, it relaxes my mind too. Just makes everything enjoyable all the way around. You know, when you have these blue healers and you know, I've owned four and I fostered a couple and, and, uh, you know, all of them's personalities are a lot different, but this guy right here is, a uh, has been the most difficult as far as the healers, because they're all hard-headed. Some just are more extreme than others, and Sarge is an extreme of that, you know, but he's always wanting to learn and do things, but sometimes he has this mindset, my way or the highway. And that can't be, that's just a lack of respect that he's given. So, you know, like right now he's got a, uh, you know, a, a prong collar on, you know, just when we are out in public around things, it's just a better way for me to be correcting him when he's, you know, making the wrong decision. And also when you're doing things like this with them, it increases the bond between you and them. It truly does. You know, because you'll see him, he, like right now, you know, he's checking back to see where I'm at and, and uh, make sure things good. Here, <laughs> like right now, you know, he's, that's defiance right there. He should have come on the first, on the first call. But that's, Sarge being Sarge, taking it all in. Yeah. But he, he actually does have a pretty good recall. You know, that's something that, that I've, I would suggest for everybody to work on is a recall with their dogs. That way, if there's a distraction, like right now, if a deer come up or, or you know, one of the little gray foxes or something, I know I can get him back. Yeah. 
and an always carry treats. Another tip, always carry treats with you when you're out doing things like this. Because as far as training and like, you know, when he comes back on a call or, or sometimes when he just checks back with me, I let him know that he's done good and, you know, and I'll go ahead and give him a treat for that. Come. Got a boy. Good job. Good. Sit. Good deal, buddy. They sit pretty. That's my boy. All right, let's continue on. Well, anyway, this is just some tips. Carry treats with you. You know, like I say, doing things like this will increase your, you, your bond with your dog, you know? And, uh, and plus it just makes them mentally tired because of all the things that they're taking in. So it makes for a happy dog, a happy healer. And I guess that's about it until the next time. And as I like to say, have a little fun as you go, people. Because we all know life is stressful enough. Get that old four pal paw loaded up in your truck and take off and just have an adventure. Enjoy your time. Enjoying time with them makes for an enjoyable life for the both of you. <laughs>